Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the domain for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we need to find values of x for which for which this power series will converge. So uh, normal routine, use the ratio test. So with the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. AM plus 1 divided by AM. So this, so this is your AM plus 1, and this is your AM. So now simplify this. So looking at this, you can visualize it as one block multiplying another block. And then looking at this, you can visualize it as one block multiplying by x to the power of 1. And then uh, this will cancel out with this. And then this will cancel out with this, leaving you with with uh, with this. Okay. So now, um, now uh, well, when you have one thing multiplying by another thing, you can uh, take the apps of this and then multiply by the apps of this. So so that will then take you to here. Uh, and notice that n is moving from uh, from wherever from here to infinity. So n will always be positive. So uh, so even though you have an absolute here, this thing here you know is always going to be positive. So you, you can ignore the, the absolute and just consider it as being um, a positive number. So this, this thing here will then become this. So, uh, so when we remember with the ratio test, with the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. If this value here uh, is less than it's less than one, then we know it's, it's going to converge. If it's greater than one, it, it would diverge. If it equals to one, it's inconclusive. So looking at this, so remember we we've just computed this here. So we've just computed that, and it gave us this. So looking at this, when will this converge? Uh, it will converge when this whole thing here is less than one. When will this whole thing here be less than one? Um, you, you see, even looking at this here, if you put a um, if you put 0 0.0 0 7 in it, into here, as n tends to infinity, this if you multiply this, well, the whole even if even if um, x is 0 0.0 7, it will eventually because as as n heads towards infinity, this whole thing here will will head towards infinity. The only time that this whole thing here will be less than one is when this thing here is equal to precisely zero. Anything else, it will, it will, um, it will, the whole thing here, the limits will head towards infinity, meaning it will diverge. The, the only time that this whole thing here will be less than one is when this is precisely zero. So the domain, so, so the domain for our function, you see, looking at this, the only time that this thing here will be less than one is when x, when x here is equal to precisely zero. Anything else, and it, and it, it will head towards infinity. So, uh, so the domain here is is the the one number zero. That's our domain. It only works. It will only converge. Um, this the power series will only converge when when x is equal to precisely zero. Anything else, it will um, it will diverge. And we're not interested in anything else. Well, when it comes to to the power series, we're only interested in when it will converge. It will converge when it when it equals precisely zero. So the domain for our function is when x equals zero. Okay?